Hey guys, thanks for uh, coming back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Smith & Wesson M&P Bodyguard 380 pistol. I got this used about six months ago and figured it's time to get it out and see what we can do. Alright, there's what I what it comes with. I don't see any paperwork, so I guess I guess they didn't turn it in. There's what you get. Let's clear it. It's clear. This magazine base is not what you get. Uh, I bought this as a plus one extension. Um, actually, it's not extension. I mean, it just gives you. If I could. Gives you a little bit more room to grab. I only have medium hands, so as you can see, I can comfortably grab it. Factory one is right there. That's what it looks like. Okay, so let's go over the specs. Weighs 11.85, yeah, 11.85 ounces unloaded. It is just 5.25 inches length. Barrel length is 2.75 inches. Cartridge, I believe I said 380 ACP. Action is a short recoil, um, six round magazine seven with the extension and the sights are fixed open sights they are not painted and I will see if you can see this okay so they're not painted okay I mean it's that's what it looks like. You can put this in your shirt pocket right there. Very light gun. Well made. The serrations are really nice. This comes with a frame mounted safety, which is usually on higher end guns. You have your magazine release right here, which is not ambidextrous, it looks like. You see that? You see that? I don't believe that could be switched around and just no that there's no way it could be. Trigger pull. Just for safety reasons again. Remember it's double action. It's actually pretty smooth and consistent. Yeah. Yeah, I like it actually. So let's take her out to the range and shoot it. I'm gonna shoot a couple different rounds. I'm gonna shoot some reloads to really check for reliability. I'm gonna shoot some brand new ball ammo and I'll probably uh, dig around and see if I got a box of, uh, of 380 uh, hollow points. And uh, we'll check it out and see how she does. See you there. All right guys, I'm back. Here's the whole target. So it was shot at 20 feet. This was SMB 92 grain FMJ. It's it's 380 auto, but it's also called 9mm Browning Quartz. It's got about five different names. So there's the group I got with that. That flyer, blame it on me. This is Sierra Hollow Points. All right, that's what I got with that. There's another flyer. There you go. Blame it on me. Here's my reloads. Seems like I get one flyer or a couple flyers. There's reloads again. I'll try to settle down a little bit more on that one. Um. 
Yeah, some of this was me. I could shoot a lot better, and I'll tell you why in a second. All right, guys, back from the range. Um, as you saw the uh, the targets that I've already posted, um, a lot of that was me. A lot of that was this damn thing right here. Piece of shit magazine that I bought used from eBay. That's my fault. I shouldn't buy nothing used. I just got a brand new one in. Uh, memo to me, don't buy used ass shit off eBay. Okay, I remember that now. Anyway, what happened with that magazine, every time I fired, it would uh, eject. So I'm trying to keep the magazine there while I'm firing. Uh, the gun was firing fine. Um, doesn't kick a lot. Uh, full disclosure though, I did have the plus one uh, base pad, which helps you hold on to the gun a lot better. And I think I forgot to tell y'all that I did order a higher, uh, higher poundage recoil spring. I don't think I told you that, so I did. So it's fun to shoot, but not when your magazine's coming out every time. Uh, if y'all like, comment on it, and I'll go out there and do it with the with the new magazine. Uh, but it's fun to shoot. Um, I shot at 20 feet. Uh, one of the problems was right here. I was holding the the, the uh, trigger way up high instead of coming down on it, which I'm sure would be a lot more accurate. Um, I love it. I actually like it. Like it a lot, especially with the magazine not falling out. Damn it. Subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of more videos coming up. Thanks, guys.